smart home technology has become one of the most popular innovations today. But a sustainable and uninterrupted automation is only possible with systematic electrical distribution. This guide expands upon the accurate placement and installation of various products in a distribution board. Before going to the actual process of distribution box installation, we need to select the home system's products, number of MCBs, etc. In case of bus cabling, SCS cables are mandatory. Now let us go to the appropriate placing of all the products. Live wires entering the distribution board should go through MCB. MCBs protect my home dimmers and relays from overload and short circuit. The MCB should be placed either on the top or at the bottom from wherever the wire is entering the distribution board. The next step is to place the dimmers. The gap between each dimmer should be of at least 17 to 20 mm to make provision for heat dissipation. Now, place the relays. In case of LED load, zero crossing should be enabled using My Home Suit to protect relay from inrush current. Now, we place scenario module, scenario scheduler, web server, memory module. SCS to SCS gateway and power supply. To protect each power supply from voltage fluctuation and surges, E41 and VSPs are necessary. The web server and scenario scheduler should always be installed in private riser. Again, it is essential to keep a gap of 17 mm to 20 mm between them. Place TPN RCCB and MCBs. RCCB and MCBs must be provided per phase. To avoid the heating of products, it is suggested to install the exhaust fan on the top and inlet fan at the bottom. You should install at least one on-off circuit on the two-way switch for every room. This will allow you to operate manually even in case of system failure it is advisable to use these colors in coordination with the phases. Every relay and dimmer should be given one phase only. The distribution board should be powered using online UPS with stabilized voltage of 1% tolerance to avoid failure due to voltage fluctuation. Make sure to follow precise circuit naming for MCBs. This will help you to locate the fault easily while troubleshooting. The appropriate and precise technique of installation protocols ensures uninterrupted service and better functioning in automation. Safety begins with safety.